Okay boys, what is up? Welcome back to the All-Star Tower Defense video. So today we'll be doing a tier list of the orbs in All-Star Tower Defense right now. So this is going to be an updated uh, list. Uh, it's going to be my opinions and such, like which one is going to go to which. Uh, I'll be updating this video like whenever they add a new orb, so do expect that. And yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the tier list, okay? So firstly, we got Giona Orb. Uh, now, Giona Pink Star Orb, I would say it is pretty good based upon how he does so much damage, okay? Like, literally, my guy does so much damage. Like, he does 2,000 damage, but, but like, literally, 2,000 damage and SPA is really 10. And if you go to his final upgrade, he does 91,000 damage every 6.5 seconds. I mean, that's pretty good, ain't gonna lie. But the problem with Giorno is that his AoE circle is really small. And when you have a small AoE circle, you kind of, I mean, you kind of like a single target, you know? Because if you have a small AoE, just, just call yourself a single target, you know? Because that's how it is. But other than that, his damage is really good. So, I would say that Giorno is probably going to be low A tier, okay? Just because he does really good damage uh, in his max level. So, I would say it's kind of worth getting it if you're, like, new to the game-ish. But really, if you're doing, like, infinite mode or something, you don't necessarily need, like, uh, the, this orb. If you're doing, like, a leaderboard run or anything like that next up we got is the green natural orb for broly now broly was a unit that really needed an orb um i already made a video on how broly was either gonna get like a six star or an orb but i i, I leaned more towards the orb because it kind of made sense broly was a useless character if you look at the before the orb standards but right now with his orb he does 20,000 damage in like, like literally at level 120 which don't get me wrong 120,000 damage is really good but Broly used to be I'm pretty sure he used to be infinite meta just because of his AoE so like literally he had a full AoE and now since he only does 20,000 and he only gains just like 300 damage every round I don't know if Broly is that worth it, or specifically his orb is really that worth it. Now if you're new to the game and such, yeah, Broly is going to help you a lot, like don't get me wrong. Um, he's going to help you a lot, but overall Broly, I would probably put this maybe in B tier, like a low B tier. Just because of that, maybe even high C tier, I'm, I'm not sure. I'll probably check back once I'm done with placing all the orbs. Dark Spiritual Orb. Now this orb is going to be useful based upon if you are using Ichigo for infinite mode or if using him in any other mode such as story mode or you know the other the trials etc because Ichigo or the reason why Ichigo is really good or this orb specifically not only because of the damage I mean he only gets like 15% damage upgrade and his initial damage increased by 200% but he can actually hit air units and he slows down the air units so right because blackbeard can only slow down the ground air units uh ground units but not the air units but because ichigo orb does that i would say is probably a must have but really this will depend on whether if you're using ichigo for infinite mode or if you're using ichigo for like any other mode but it if you're using for i guess for infinite mode standards this is a definitely must have like if you go to that discord for example and try to find like people to like help you with the game and such like they'll ask you uh to have each go or at least in their list of you know what you must have or what they have they'll probably show up each go up so this is a definitely must have next up we got is limitation drop limitation orb is for gone grown gone anyways and grown gone is now uh hard to get you just need to get like a four star gun and upgrade them from there now his orb damage is i i would say it's kind of okay-ish okay um his range though his range is not the best again 29 range and in his final upgrade in 120 he will do 93,000. it's kind of like what giorno is but his range is very bad like that's the whole point but his damage buff is really good though like it is good i would say it's kind of worth putting this somewhere or putting limitation but his range is just no i don't know but his orb is good so i would probably put this in i don't know maybe i'll maybe i'll put i don't know like i want to put this either below 
I'll put him like somewhere here-ish. I need to think. So, I think he has an AOE cone, I'm pretty sure, in his final upgrade. Um, but, his, I don't, I would say, yeah, I mean, his DPS. Yeah, I don't, I don't think his DPS even is even that great as well. Because if I just check on it right now. Ooh, actually, never mind. Now, I just checked on it. And DPS is yeah, higher than Giono and Broly's. But his range is the problem. I'll probably put this in B tier. Uh, above, uh, or, uh, above, yeah, above Broly's orb. So I think that's really good. Next up we got is the moon orb. And this is for uh, Goku Alternative. I actually apologize for this low quality PNG. It's just that um, for some reason Tier Maker didn't let me actually upload the proper orb for the moon orb. So I had just like crop it out. So I do apologize. Uh, but the moon orb is really good i would say it's, it's a must-have okay um already goku alternative or goku gt is a absolute unit bro he's a he, he's still a meta by the way he's a meta unit that everybody should have like literally in his 120 damage i'm pretty sure yeah if you just place him once which is like all oh, oh, 300 385 cash you're already doing like 700 ish damage with uh with an aoe circle which i would say is it's like probably like a good aoe circle and like um if you get him to all the way before like the million one he'll do 30,000 damage which which 55 range now his faint range is okay um and his damage per second is literally 100 like his max damage 151,302 and he can hit air units Okay, so Goku GT or the Moon Orb is definitely must have. Next up we got is the Rose Orb. Now the Rose Orb is for well Goku Blackpink. Now Goku Blackpink is probably one of the units was like Broly. He needed a orb as well to increase his damage. Um, I didn't actually use him uh, in my free time because I was like, oh, why not? I might as well use him. Um, he, he's okay. I mean, it's, it's just that. 51 range I, like if you check like Goku Genos or all the characters air units that are good right now Goku GT ain't really the greatest and his damage per second is literally three three thousand four hundred and fifty it, it's not that great to be honest I don't know if he's even that worth it but he does 25,000 damage so I would say he would probably be be useful if you're new to the game literally it's one of those like Giorno probably like it's, it's probably one of them too I, because of the damage per second I would probably say C tier I might put this in D tier I'm not entirely sure it will depend on what uh, orbs I get in the end but yeah next up we got is snake orb snake orb again a definitely must have I'll pop I'll put it in the back uh, should I put it in the back I'm not sure should I now, uh, it's not showing me the 120 stats, so I have to like do this based upon the level 80 stats. But Snake Orb is probably a must-have. But if you check it uh, till well, the current meta, he's not he's not a meta no more. Okay, but he's really good though. I would say you know what? I'll put this low S tier because if you're doing story mode, you'll definitely want him. Okay, you definitely want him. He'll do a lot. Of, like his initial damage is 500. Uh, while his upgrade damage is one a thousand five hundred like that's this is good okay this is good but unfortunately it's not really meta I'm maybe I'll put this low A tier because I don't know like, but, but like if you're doing a story more than that he will be so helpful like his range is an absolute beast okay like you'll probably just <laughs> take over the map to be honest I don't know ah, dude this is I don't know I'll put it to S for now and I'll change my mind maybe later on Next up we got Venomous Orb. Now this is going to be for Venom. And Venom, I've actually never properly used him. Uh, his DPS is really low with the orb. And he, again, he has the level 80 stats. So I have to like predict how much damage he'll do if he had 120. Uh, if it was in 100, level 120. So I would say this. Because he has a really low. But he does like 9. I'm pretty sure uh, if he if he had this orb 120 his last upgrade, I would say he probably does around 90,000 damage in total, including the uh, poison effect. But his DPS is really low. I think he has from somewhere between like 50 or 55 range. 
Uh, so yeah, I would probably put this in C, C tier. Um, who actually? Yeah, I put this above um, Pink Goku. Uh, so yeah, if you want, it's probably better than Pink Goku. Oh yeah, and also um, Venom's like manual abilities, like to hit air units and poisoning them. Uh, so I would say it's probably it's way better than Goku Pink in my opinion. Next up, we got Super Future Orb. Okay, this is for. Uh, Super Future T, aka Future Trunks. Now him is I, I used him. Okay, I used the Yop before, and he only does around like if I have to guess from 120, he probably will do, do around 30,000. But his overall range is is really same as Venom, but he won't do that much damage. I would say this one is probably gonna go to the not worth it. You're best best off probably getting like Goku or like Broly or something. But uh, this. No, trunks. I I wouldn't say so. Uh, next up we got is both left and right earrings. Okay, so the right is for for the right is Goku and the left is uh, Vegeta. I'm pretty sure all these opposite. I don't know. I get confused. But these two used to be a meta unit, but now they're not. So 100% they go to. Um, Probably I'll put them like up at 80, like 100% above 80. And the reason for this is because um, when they fuse, they make, uh, was it Vegito or something? Vegito? I, I, I don't know. But they pretty much fuse and they make this really overpowered person uh, slash unit. And he used to be a meta. Like, I, I'm pretty sure he he goes from cone to AoE circle or AoE circle to cone. Now, Vegito or Veguko 120, he goes from circle, cone. To circle, uh, which his circle is really massive, and he just again like 188,000. That's really good. So definitely worth getting them. But they'll be at 80, like above 80. Okay. So anything above, like below this, or below, below Gion is gonna be really trash, or like it's gonna be like somewhere here. But yeah. Next up we got is Demon M Orb, and this is for Super Boo. This is not worth. His range is really slow, even though he'll do some somewhere between like 20, 20,000 ish damage. His range is small. He's probably he's something between like he's like, uh, like gone. Yeah, I, I you know what? I'll probably put gone down. But I think it was damage per second that was like making him go up here. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I might put this to not worth as well because his range is really slow. Sorry, his range is really small, not slow. And DPS is only at 3,000. I th this is oh, I, this is gonna go to not worth as well. You're better off getting anything other than this. Next up we got is Golden F Scaling Orb for our old boy, Golden Supreme Leader. Frieza used to be a meta unit. He used to be a meta unit for story mode just because of his AOE and how much damage he did with this orb. Okay, you can get this. I'm pretty sure you get this in Trial One Extreme. I, this used to be so much worth it. Now, you, if you want to get a good air unit, just get Genos or something. Genos is really good. Genos 5 star that I'm talking about. But let's say you just want to get Frieza, for example, or you have Frieza and you don't want to waste gems on Genos, for example, then this is probably the best thing to do. Now, in level 8, he does like 11,000 damage, which you can kind of see what's going on. And his SPA is only 7, but he has, a, I would say, a decent AOE circle. I would put this at, mm, now, I don't know man, I'll probably put this on B tier, okay, high B tier, just because of that, okay. Uh, we love our Freezer Orb, but unfortunately he's no longer meta, no longer usable, so we just have to move on to another person, so unfortunately Freezer, you're staying here. Next up we got is Bomber Orb, now Bomber Orb is a must have, especially um, so if you might have seen people using like Bomber Orb on like Erwin or something because it does increase how uh, the damage for Erwin so you can buff like the other units. Uh, Fire Orb, actually I'll give you fun to back, Fire Orb is not really preferred for Erwin because his damage actually caps. So uh, this for, I mean this for any other unit or like Erwin is, is probably like good. I'll probably put this in A tier just because of that. Like if you bring Erwin or something you'll probably bring the Bomber Orb with him, so yeah, he's probably A tier, so yeah, you should probably get it as well. Next up, we got is the Cost Orb, okay? So, Cost Orb, um, must have, okay? Um, uh, must have. 
this you will only use the cost up for your money units only if you don't have a money unit you use it for any other units that you want to make it cheap but pretty much you need money uh, up actually in decreases the deployment by a hundred so yeah that's why we use it for the uh, money units because uh, it will be easy we save money we save a hundred ish something I don't know we save we probably save money for uh, from placing so yeah cost up must have Next up we got is Minato Orb or Beast M Scaling Orb. This guy, even though he was meant to boost Minato's stats, he still wasn't worth it. As someone who used to meta Minato 6 star, he was a good unit. Before like his like orb, I would he he was a decent unit. He got me to run maybe to the end. Not not to like end probably like 60% of story mode, it was all thanks to Minato, 6 star, but now with his orb, it's not even worth it, I think he does like 2000 damage, his SP is 3 seconds, which uh, makes it good, but his orb doesn't do anything good, so you're better off, again, put it in what not worth, you're not, you're, you'd rather not even get Minato 6 star, you're better off getting any other of these units, other than Minato, so no, he's not worth it. Oh well, his orb is not worth it. Fire orb must have. I don't. Re I don't really need to say it. But if you don't know what the fire orb does, it's pretty much like boosts the initial spawn damage by 100%. So yeah, fire orb you must have. Blue eye orb or is uh, what it does is pretty much increases the unit range by 30%. I'll. Oh, this is probably a must have as well. Uh, you should definitely get this. It will, it will help you as well. We got the hawk orb. Okay, this is for uh, Zoro, aka Mihawk. So if you have a Mihawk, it doesn't matter which skin Mihawk you have. If you have Mihawk, you should probably use this orb. Uh, but what it does is 600 or pretty much 700 damage in level 80. Let's if he had if he was in 120, I think he'll do something between like 800, 900, maybe a thousand. Actually not a thousand, but Mihawk not worth it. Okay, like 600 damage just for this orb with itself. Nah, not worth it. Actually, yeah, stay there. You yeah, you should probably stay there. Yeah, this is probably good. To My D is probably yeah, it's good. Next up we got is no orb and it's for Ice Queen B, aka Ruth. Now in her level 80, she does 20,000 damage. But don't forget, whenever she like hits uh, the opponents, they get frozen for a couple of seconds. The problem with this unit is his range. 35 range, six per, six seconds per attack. I don't know if he's, if Rukia is actually worth or this orb anyway. Twenty thousand. If you're new to the game, I would say maybe. But this is probably like a trunks moment where, like, uh, I mean, you're better off not getting this. You're better off getting any of these than Rukia. So I'll probably put this around here. Yeah, just because she also freezes your units. I'm also like counting what the units do as well. So since, since she freezes the units as well, I'll put them above uh, Boo, Minato, and Mihawk. So yeah, her orb, yeah, probably not worth it. The path orb for our boy, the path, aka, I forgot his name, okay? Oh, it was Nagato, okay, I forgot. It was Nagato. Nagato's orb is actually decentish, okay? His initial damage for the orb is 150, and his upgrade damage does 900% damage, or more damage. Um, his, yeah, this this is probably worth getting it, um, but I would say, you know what? You know what? Hold on. He does 20,000, or pretty much the summary, 20,000 damage in his max upgrade level 80, and he probably does more in his 120. I'd probably put this in low B tier. Um, I have here. I don't know. Hold on. I mean, his range is 35. Now I figured. You know what? Probably not B. I'll probably in low C. Nagato 20. Just because of his low range, I'll yeah. I would say that's probably where it's supposed to be at. Quake Orb, A.K.A. White Beard Six Stars Orb. Now I don't know why they actually added a White Beard Six Star, but I, I guess it kind of made sense because White Beard Six Star was useless trash. But with his orb, he kind of kind of makes it out. But he's, again, he's not really that great. He's like somewhere between Rukia, probably like a better upgrade version than Rukia because he has an AOE circle and his manual ability is to pretty much some do five times the amount of damage. I'm pretty sure in his AOE circle and also summon a tsunami that is five times larger. Okay, so uh, yeah, you're better off. I don't know. Um. Ooh, I need to think about this. Okay, now I check that his DPS is really just the same as Rukia. So, 
I'll probably put this here. Uh, Quake Orb, yeah, you're not, it's not worth getting it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, now we got Death Orb. Now this is for Ku uh, Kira, uh, five star Death, or, or what's his name, Ryuk, or Kira six star. Which again, this is a must-have. I'll probably put this. You know what? We'll put him here. The reason why for Death Orb is because Kira does so much damage. His six star that I'm talking about. He does so much damage. He's a meta unit. Six star Kira is a meta unit. Like you can get 20 billion damage by just one click. Even probably more to be honest. Like, if you have two good teammates in infinite mode, you can probably get. I would say maybe 100. I don't know, 100 nah, that's too much. You'll probably get decent dish damage. That's what I'm trying to say. Kira, uh, Death Orb, million percent worth having. It. Even if you have a five star Kira or Death or Ryuk, I doubt you'll have Ryuk. But if you have Kira five star or Kira six star, get him. Okay, get him. It's worth. Next up, we got is Rainbow Magic Orb, and this is for Kovegu, aka Gogeta. Now this guy is like an unobtainable unit. I'm pretty sure. I don't know how. You, I think was he in a battle? I don't remember exactly. But he's you, you can get him. He's you can get him from trading. Uh, he's a tradable unit. But people probably tell you to like, oh, you need to give me like good units or something. Twenty-five thousand range. He's. I'll put this in here. There you go. His DPS is really similar to the Paths range. Actually, you know what? I'll probably put him. I'll put him here. I'll probably make him upgrade since uh, Gogeta's uh, cone. Sorry, Gogeta's range is really good. It's like 80 ish, which kind of makes it more worth it than the path. So if you have Gogeta for some reason, I guess you could give him this orb. He'll be okay. But Gogeta ain't really that worth getting, anyways. Now we got his Mera orb for um, Spade, aka Ace. Yeah, yeah, again, I'll probably put this maybe in C tier again. He's not that good uh, of a unit anyways. Like, uh, if you guys watch my uh, Luffy, Ace, uh, Sabo vs. Also Tower Defense video, you know that how trash Ace was, even with his orb. I think he was around 71 level when I had him. He pretty much does 30,000 damage, uh, including his burn damage. And his DPS is 2,000. Not the greatest, like, you can just tell so he's probably um, somewhere here i'll put him here um, yeah spade probably or oh, ace is all most likely is gonna stay here i might change it but yeah and lastly we got lightning breath orb aka zenitsu's orb zenitsu i've never really used him properly although his sp is like pretty much 1.5 seconds i think i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure it's just a cone like a little cone with his little range like this guy has 15 range but he does more damage than a so i'll probably place him oh actually you know what i'll place him down here just because of that uh, I, I, his range is really terrible even though he does more damage he's that damage per second he's not really that worth it so um, yeah, is what I actually thought about. So yeah, so Trunks is the best, Zoro's the worst. Like uh, I'm pretty sure I only changed Minato is like the second worst, and Zenitsu is like the third worst. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm kind of glad with this. Okay, I think this is like perfect itself uh, with how uh, useless they are as uh, orbs. This is again, I think this is good as well. Uh, good, good, and good. So yeah, this is my opinion. If you want to do this, you can you know you can do it yourselves. But this is what I decided to do, and how uh, my opinion on un uh, the unit orbs, and uh, which ones are good, which ones like worth getting, which ones not. So yeah, uh, let me know what your thoughts. What should I change? Like what should I replace or something? Just let me know in the comments. I'll maybe I'll think about it. If I disagree, I'll say I disagree. Blah blah blah. If I agree, I'll you know say yeah. That's probably a bit better to do. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.